Alright, it's time to get woke, because it turns out that fidget spinners are a plot to undermine Russia. <laughs> fidget spinners used to brainwash young into opposing Putin. Consider yourselves told. Russia's Consumer Protection Agency, I didn't even realize I had one, has launched an investigation of the effect of fidget spinners on children's health and claims they have been used to rouse opposition to President Putin. Very believable. <laughs> the agency that I'm not even going to try and pronounce, fuck you Russia, said it would examine the aggressively promoted toys for possible negative consequences. Yeah, I think severe autism. Who knows? It's chicken and egg, though, isn't it? <laughs> Fidget spinners usually have blah, 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 blah. They were invented in the early 1990s, but became a worldwide fad this year, because apparently we're approaching the end times. The toys have been banned at some schools in Britain. Good. America and France are disrupting lessons. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think giving people some little autistic toy to play with just forever to waste their time with is a good, is a good idea at all. I, I know that if I had one, I'd be using it constantly, and I know it would be a bad thing, so I've positively refuse to purchase one it's not good it's i i don't know why but i have a gut feeling there's i have a, an instinct that these things are a bad idea <laughs> I'm, I'm also worried about them toppling russia as president <laughs> that's that's the best wokest take on this <laughs> i just can't get over it so, the investigation came shortly after Russian state television suggested that the toys could be used by anti-Kremlin activists to brainwash recruits. Anyone else thinking of Yuri Bezmenov's ideological subversion talks? I think, they, uh, I think they've been staring into the abyss for too long. How are these fidget spinners a capitalist plot to subvert our glorious... <laughs> not Soviet, but the, the glorious Russian state? They're not, comrade. They're... They're stupid shit that waste your time. That's what they are. <laughs> then maybe you were like, yeah, but that is the the capitalist ideological subversion of Russia. Maybe we've got a lot of time wasting bullshit in the West. A program on Russia Twenty Four channel called Virus said the spinners were instruments of zombification, with authoritative medics describing them as a form of hypnosis. I knew they were bad, but I didn't know how bad. But thank God, I'm having all of this confirmed for me. Alexei Kazakov, the presenter, said they often negatively affect the psyche and make people susceptible to manipulation. Possibly. They certainly point out the people who are susceptible to manipulation, don't they? <laughs> Someone sat there with a fidget spinner and it's like, well, that's not a Nobel Prize winner, is it? <laughs> Referring to opponents of Putin, he added, It may be far from a coincidence that spinners have started to be sold at protests of the non-systemic opposition. Maybe it's because there are lots of people there. This this just sounds like capitalism to me. Oh, there's a large group of people over there. Maybe I can sell them something shit. <laughs> Not doing a great defense of capitalism here, am I? Ruslan, can't pronounce that, sorry. A journalist told the program the opposition was using spinners to attract young people. Okay, great, they're going to have an army of autists. Good, good for them. They perfectly understand that this is a simple thing that can be used to control the masses. <laughs> okay. Yes, that, that's that's undoubtedly true. You just have to make sure that there's a message that appears when it's spinning around. I'd go for something like socialism doesn't work. The spinners are marketed as reducing stress, anxiety, or the effects of autism. Although there is no scientific evidence for that. And the evidence is mounting up that it probably increases autism. Sfle oh, I can't pronounce any of these names. A psychologist told Russia24 that spinners allowed users to forget problems. And probably other things like the the ruling russian president <laughs> just, just, <laughs> why they even exist on this earth at all <laughs> just fucking fidget spinners are gonna bring down russia on the other hand <laughs> it's a good thing you don't come to this channel for quality isn't it on the other hand, concentrating on a spinner sends people into a different world and makes them stupid, she said. Well, that's probably true. Although, again, are they already stupid or does the spinner do the work? Definitely need uh, definitely need the KGB on this. The Kremlin is thought to be unnerved by a surge in support among young people for Alexei Navalny, 
An anti-corruption campaigner. Yeah, it must be fidget spinners. He's anti-corruption. Well, only people who like fidget spinners be into that. In December, Mr. Navalny, 41, said he would run in presidential elections in March next year, when Putin, 64, is expected to seek a fourth term. Mr. Navalny used a spinner in a Moscow courtroom at the end of May. Case closed. He may as well just have admitted that he was trying to undermine the Russian state. <laughs> When he was sued for defamation by a tycoon. Large numbers of high school pupils, students and other young protesters attended nationwide demonstrations organised by Navalny in March and last month. Undoubtedly, every single one of them had a fidget spinner and were just going on with it. Yeah, this is just stupidity. I, I, it must be some sort of cultural conflict. The Russians must be looking at this going, right, okay. How is this trying to undermine the Russian state? <laughs> it's not. It's... It's something we give to autistic children to keep them quiet and happy. <laughs>